to show off. Okay, so... I want to... I made this fencing thing. This fencing thing here. As you guys may know, I made this fencing guy. Except, what I changed about him is that, um, everything's the same, but I made it so that, um, you use the right stick to aim the sword, and then you press R1 to shoot your arm out. So, or you can just do classic, which is just this. Uh, but I wanted to make a level for this, that, and I need to fix a couple things real quick. First of all, I have to make the arm... Well, not the arm, the sword. Frictionless, yeah. I need to have it have no friction. And I don't know about bounciness. I was thinking about having a bouncy. Yeah, sure. Put on 50% and let's see how it goes. Well, that's pretty bouncy. Like, I just want to see what it's like against, um, just some, like, the other sword. Because the problem with this was that, um, since, since they are ragdolls, the problem with it, horrible, problem with it was that, like, the swords would get stuck. So I just want to... I, I just wanted to know if bounciness would help. Maybe I shouldn't have it so bouncy to bounce stuff off. Um, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have it so bouncy. Let's put it like at 25%. Half of what it was before. Except it, I don't know. You know what, here. I won't bother with the bounciness right now because I have nobody to test with. But once I get somebody to test with, then I'll go ahead and do my thing. Okay. So, until I get people, like, un until later in the live stream, I'm just going to... I'm just gonna create stuff because I have a lot of creating to do. Hold on, go back to the stream. I'm looking at the stream on my phone. So if you guys want to comment and do it. Hold up. It's coming up as a black screen right now. Okay, good. Alright, cool. Stream is working. Das is good. Okay, and then I'll just show you in a second. I also made this, which I did a little sneak peek for. It's just, oh crap, okay, it's just a one, a one guy that jumps around, jumps around, and then you can, hold on, what button was it? That button. He's just a ragdoll, he's normal, he's a normal, and then he shoots bombs. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make this be some kind of level. I did, I did a forum post of this, so if you guys want to know more details on what's going to be in the level, you can go to Little Big Planet Central Forums. My arm is stuck in my face now. Alright, well, bugs. So I made that too. But right now I'm focusing on making a level for the, um, for the sword fighting thing. Hold on. My phone keeps on going into the horizontal view when I want it. In the vertical view. Lock orientation. Alright, good. 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 Okay. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, I have to make a title screen, which is the favorite. I love making title screens. That's sarcasm. I hate making title screens. Um, so what? It's gonna, like, right now I'm just gonna make it be, like, two player only. So, um, start or play? Start. Start. And then I'll do help. And then I'll do music. Just like that. 
Uh, by the way, if audio is too loud or too quiet, like if I'm too quiet or if the game's too quiet, go ahead and tell me. Just, just do a little comment. Okay, so, yes. I'm not making my own font right now, and I'm not using the pixelated font I normally use. This is just my default, usually. Uh, star... Star. And then help. H E. Spelling class with blah blah. Wanna know how to spell help? No, you know. And then music. Or music. What the crap is that? Mm. S. I see. Alright, and then I get one of the best tools in Little Big Planet. This these scissors to clear this all up. Done! Okay. Now I gotta put all these together. So I kind of go under no, probably. Go into front view, you just... I don't get too exact with this kind of stuff because, I mean... I don't care. People play the level not to read, they play it for the actual level. Okay, so there's start. And help. H-E. Get the L and the P over here. Help. I don't know how I'm going to do the camera though. Because I was going to do a movie camera to make it flat. I don't know, can you do the player tracking on a movie camera? Because if you can, that's perfect. If you can't, then I'm screwed. So yeah, until I get people in my pod, I'm just going to be creating. Because I don't think many people are on right now. Because, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you know that I was going to stream, like, a while ago on Wednesday if I had a snow day. And I did have a snow day, but that's when the power cut out. So ever since then, I've been itching to do a live stream. Because I love doing live streams, they're honestly really fun, especially if you're with people that... Especially if you're with people that you have a lot of fun with. Okay, so there we go. I don't know how this title screen is going to look. I might have to do some 3D layer stuff, but I don't want to. Because flat layers are kind of buggy. I don't know. Ever since Sumatory Dreams, like, I had a lot of problems with 3D layers in that level. So ever since Sumatory Dreams, I've been trying to avoid flat layers. Not flat layers, but 3D layers. I guess I don't... If I'm going to do it as a flat view... I won't do the scenery right now. If I'm going to do it as a flat view, then I don't need to use a 3D layer. I can just do, like, some background thing. But if I can't do a flat camera with two players, then I'll just... I'll just deal with it. Okay. Start help. Okay, first of all, first of all, first of all. Second. No, first of all. Have to do some of this. Get to get here. Boop. Get that front view. And boop. If you guys want to know how to make a title screen, pay attention. Because you could learn a thing, of, thing or two from blah blah. Okay. I talk in third person. Person. Third person. Oh, smash. Blah blah smash. Blah blah create. Okay, so but and we're done. No, we're not. Uh, click. Wait. Click. Change the color. What color should it be? Red. No, that's the color of scary pink. I don't know. It could be pink. This is inspired by Nid Nidhog. 
so I could do pink. I don't know, I always do this. Yeah. Yeah. I have no clue what I'm enjoying. Let's just do white for now, and then... Actually, I think it's good. Is it good? Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, it's white for now. Okay, so, now... Now I gotta do the, con the, the things... Okay, control here. What the heck are you? There you are. I don't want you right now. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So first of all, I gotta do this. Crap. And make a really big... There we go. Bigger than that! And then, auto in. There we go. And then, only lead player. Because lead player should have full... Full control of this. So now, let's... What do I do? Gotta get this. Dip, dip. Dip. Okay. Uno. Dos. Trace. Dip, dip, dip. Make it like gray. Oh, oops, did the wrong thing. Not gray. There we go, perfect. Yeah, there we go, perfect. Okay, now that that's done, let's... Okay, now hopefully this works. This should work. No, it doesn't work. Yeah, okay. You guys, you guys may know, but when putting this into, into a selector, it's inverted. So, you have to uninvert it. And it can get a little bit repetitive. So, basically, you do this. So, you're basically saying up is down and down is up. So, then when you plug it back in, it's the way it should be. In case you guys don't get logic. So, now when I hit up, it actually goes up. And when I hit down, it actually goes down. So that's just good. Um, cool. Okay. Crap. My brain. My brain. Now I need a bunch of AND gates. And I mean a bunch of AND gates. A bit. Click, click, click. This up here. This up there. And this up to there. And I should also have a little space. And then I hook X to all of these. So basically, um, when when you're hovering over one of these and you press X, then it'll activate whatever you activate. That's basically what I'm doing right now. Uh, I'll try to explain as best I can, because especially as a beginner, like when I was a beginner looking at people do logic like this, it can be a, it can it can be a little bit scary, so I try to explain it for the common person to understand. Okay, so for help for help we have to do a tutorial, um, like a cinematic tutorial thing, which is pretty easy.